Hey there! To stand out in an oversaturated e-commerce market, your website needs to be very well optimized. But finding an all-in-one, feature-packed SEO app for your Shopify store can be a difficult task. That's why we're here with an excellent recommendation. So if you're ready, let's get started. So we are using the app called SEO King and let's first do a quick overview to see what this app offers and then we will move on to our Shopify dashboard to see the tools and the features in action. So first, here you can see that this is an AI powered SEO tool. But again, you can switch between the AI and classic optimization modes anytime. So if we um, do not want to use SEO in your optimization process, you're free to do that. But AI will help you make everything faster and uh, more productive, right? Efficient. Uh, and here you have powerful tools at your fingertips. You can generate blog articles, the alt text, the file names, and the meta titles. Yeah, you can do a lot with AI. And then there is this click-through rate based optimization so you can detect your low performing pages and boost your uh, CTR over 75% um, over a month. Yeah, you can do that. And finally, this is an all-in-one platform. So you have so many uh, features and tools in just one app. So you do not have to use multiple apps uh, to optimize your website. Everything is in just one place. Uh, here you can see the SEO editor, SEO translations, SEO scan, Google console integration, keywords management, vision AI. Again, you can generate unique alt text and file names for your uh, photos and pictures. And then there is this bot photo editor and basically over 30 tools in just single dashboard. Well, it's enough to have like a basic understanding of what this tool offers. Let's now move on to our Shopify dashboard. Well then, here it is, my dashboard, and let's get started with some basic configuration. And we can start that with the settings page. Let's get there and just briefly understand what's in there. So here we have some basic information about our profile, domain, store. Here, most importantly, you need to pay attention to the custom keywords. So here you can add up to five custom keywords that you want to concentrate on while optimizing your website. Here you can see your main product categories. In our case, it's sandals, shoes, and sneakers. But again, you can add yours if, for example, you think that something is missing here. In our case, nothing is missing, so we are going to proceed with this. Then here you can have your focus keyword store-wide, and you can add it here, and you can add up to five focus keywords. Yes, it is allowed. And here you can also enable the notifications where, uh, from where you want to get notifications actually. So the live chat, Q count, JavaScript errors, canonical errors, and app blocker errors. So in case you have one of these issues, you will automatically receive notifications so that you can correct them. And these are the API accounts. Um, so that's it. this is it about the settings page. Uh, just some basic customizations uh, that you need to make prior uh, getting started with the app itself. So now let's get started with some SEO stuff and let's head to SEO checklists. So here, as you can see, there is some information about each of the sections here. And this says this is the list of uncompleted and completed tasks to improve your SEO and site performance. Uh, but make sure once you made any of these uh, tasks here, for example, uh, you complete any of these uh, uncompleted tasks from here, make sure you do the scan again so that you get up-to-date information. So here in this uncompleted tasks, we have Connect Google Search Console. Yes, SEO King has a Google Search Console integration. So you may want to connect this and get better insights about your store performance directly from here. And then you also need to generate homepage, homepage report, product report, auto update, meta titles. Yes, we have so many things to do, but we have also some completed tasks and we can see it in green. Uh, we have completed a shop scan. We activated the alt text, meta titles, meta description, and it's good. But we have lots of uncompleted ones. And here, the good thing is that under each of this uh, title, as you can see, the uncompleted task description, you have the link where you can go and actually complete that task. So you do not have to again find where is that error that we need to complete. 
yes, you have it here. You simply click on this and complete the task. And next is the SEO dashboard. Again, a very important page here uh, because here you will find the key metrics that you need to pay attention to while doing your SEO optimization on your website. And here you can see the total uh, published numbers of your products, collections, pages, this is all together and these are separately. Uh, you can also uh, see that it also has reports on your homepage, on the products, on the collections. And in the homepage, for example, uh, here you can see that uh, in console, we do not have any issues. Uh, but here in this report analytics, priority issues, secondary issues, we need to generate a new report and here you can do that easily. And you can do that on different uh, parts of your website, homepage, products, collections, articles, and pages. That's great. And now scan. So we have talked about SEO uh, scan in the SEO checklist, but let's again see how we can do the scan. So first, before doing the scan, you can set some settings. You can choose uh, what you want to uh, scan, the scan type. You can choose to include the unpublished items. You can choose to save the focus keyword. You can also enable this monthly auto scan so it automatically does scanning on your website without your um, manual scanning. And then you can also choose to activate the meta descriptions if they're too long, meta titles if you're too long, uh, page builder uh, on products, collections, articles, and pages. And then after this, you can click on scan your shop and it will do the scan based on the configuration that you have just made. Okay, now let's proceed to another important part of SEO King, which is the AI part of it. So here we have the AI services. Uh, and here in this AI services, you can see that you can do actually many things. Um, so let's first head to this uh, AI text uh, with GPT. So here you can uh, generate uh, blogs, alt text, titles. Uh, and here you can uh, make the general configurations. Uh, you can choose the GPT model. Here you can see we they have very advanced models here. You can set the formality, you can choose to use the focus keywords if you have set it already, and you can choose to use Vision AI for your content. And here you can see, again, in all text, you can choose the type of it, you can choose a Vision AI caption or Vision AI caption plus GPT AI, settings for the title, settings for the meta title, and again, you can customize here everything that you need. And this goes for products, collections, articles, and pages. This is very constructive because you know uh, what you are working on right now. And let's now head to the optimization section here to check out more AI tools here. You know that for SEO optimization, all text, meta descriptions, and meta titles are crucial. And let's see how SEO King can help us with that too and um, make this process more efficient. And let's head to all text first. So here, if you scroll a bit down, you can see first the settings. Uh, and here you can choose the type of the template that you want to choose, either Vision AI Caption, Vision AI Caption plus GPT AI, if you want to have uh, different options to choose from. Uh, and some other customizations that you can do. And from here, you can see, for example, this sneakers has the, this is the current alt tag, this is the new alt tag, and this is the vision AI caption that we can choose in between. So first, let's choose a product that doesn't have, um, let's say these black sneakers. I don't think this ha has, yes, there is no set. So uh, let's use this one and you simply click on this update product. Oh yeah, and we need to choose from here. Or let's say this one. Click on select. Let's wait a bit. Great, let's scroll a bit down. And here it is. A pair of black and white Air Jordan 1 mid sneakers. And you can choose which one you want to proceed with. And the same goes for meta descriptions and meta titles. If you go there, here you have more settings to customize. You can choose to update the published uh, poster to drafts. You can choose the max characters here. You can choose to have capitalization. And again, you will simply need to click on this update a product, 
choose it, click on select. And here we'll also get some tips every time it does this. And it's ready. And you can see this is the current meta description, black sneakers. And we have also meta titles. And again, you can make the customizations here and uh, update your product right from here. And finally, this uh, and finally, let's head to SEO editor. And this is the page where you can quickly review and edit pages in your shop. Uh, you can improve your SEO keyword score by including the same keywords in as many fields as possible as needed. So these are some navigation options. You can choose either the published or unpublished ones you want to uh, do the quick review. Uh, you can choose to go next page on save. You can add the focus keywords right here as well. This is, these are item specific keywords, uh, the collections, um, and these are the basic settings that you can customize. You can choose to have the concentrate on the published ones, uh, the no index ones that you can skip uh, optimizing. Then this is the GPT model that you can choose. We have so many options here. The creativity, maximum or normal. Uh, formality, formal, informal, or you can even not set it, it, it will adjust. Uh, these are the HTML max characters, the focus keyword if you have, uh, you can click on use focus keyword. Uh, these are the actions that you can uh, perform, you can add to your admin page, web page, Google, Bing, DuckDuckGo, Brave. These are the fields and there is this interesting thing that you can do. So this is the title for uh, our sneakers. But if you click on this AI generate, for example, it will uh, offer some uh, more uh, to the point titles, more relevant titles, and you can definitely do that. Uh, again, the meta title, you can AI generate or click on generate. Um, here you can see the meta description. Let's click on generate. This is the main text and you can click on the save data and that's it. You see how quickly you can do that because uh, that's why it's called the SEO editor and here you do the quick reviews and quick editing with your uh, website pages. And that's it about SEO King, the Shopify app that will help you keep your website well optimized all the time. And if you still got any questions concerning it, don't forget to drop them in the comments and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell to not miss out any of our upcoming videos. And I'll see you next time and have a nice day. Bye bye.